I've got this message to, especially to parents, that we need to help and empower young men. Our young men are neglected too much. And there are three things that I want each and everyone to understand. Okay, my name is Mpumele Lobtelezi. I'm from an organization called Boys Mentorship South Africa. We are here today because we've got a session or we've got a conversation with young men, uh, young boys that we can hear today to just to speak with them, just to empower them. We, the topic today that we are covering, we are covering the identity because uh, we understand what, if they know what, who they are and why are they here on earth and what they can do. The moment they know themselves, they will be able to take, to make right choices, to take the right decisions in life. And then we are here just to empower them with the brothers that we are all here. We see the boys that they came in numbers and then we are happy with it. They've come to join us in this conversation. And the conversation is still continuing. We know what the Lord is going to help us just to, um, just to achieve what we are here to achieve. But our main focus today is to just to share with the guys uh, the power of knowing yourself. Who am I? Which is an identity. There are three things that I want each and everyone to understand. Uti. There are things that I call it, um, three psychological needs of a, a young boy. One, the need to be loved, the need to be, the need to be accepted, and the need to be appreciated. So these young men, most of them, or a the number of them, they come from families where they are raised by a single mom. So you know what, according to statistics, here in South Africa, uh, above 60% of children in South Africa, they come from fatherless homes, which give um, a problem. Secondly, we need to understand what there are three places, four places initially, that need to groom men. One, family need to groom men. Secondly, the church need to groom men. Thirdly, the, uh, the army, that where men they were used to be groomed. The fourth is the sport. The first families, if 90, if more than 60 percent uh, children come from fatherless home, which means home has failed to raise men. We come to church. Many young people they don't go to church, which fa church has failed to raise men. And the army they are no more taking number of men to come to the army, which means we're only left with sport. Sport is the only platform now uh, that is existing, that men are many that they are going to in that field. The question now we have is this, do we have the programs that will help them to become 
the kind of men that we need in our societies. We see many things that are happening. Our great players, when they, when they approach the current corridors of success or the corridors of greatness, they were sent back in shame because of the choices, because of the decisions, because it shows what something is not good in the background, something is lacking in their grooming. So because there is no programs for them. So we are, as an organization, put together the programs for young men just to help them to become what the Lord wants them to become. Thank you. Pumele Okay. Yeah, it's a I'm here to conduct my poem under the motion of to Uta Nelson Wallace Samadiba. We know what that Nelson Wallace Samadiba did for us and what he was in the nation. This poem is dedicated to him. To Utata Nelson Wallace Mandela. He left us whilst we didn't expect it. He left us with peace and harmony. Tata, you are a good model and role model to all. What you did will forever be remembered. Today we all have rights. We are equally protected by the law. We are free. We go to school. We have justice. You are a father, a grandfather, and a role model to all living. You are to be remembered. Yes, I'm a Yes, yes, yes.